Hello again. Me, but you fed up of me now, now, aren't you? Well, I think my camera's crooked, so that's a good start to the day, isn't it? Let's see if I can adjust slightly. No, I think it wants to be on an angle. Hmm, you can barely aim it. Well, if you're in any other parts of the world, happy Mother's Day. Uh, I celebrated Mother's Day, I think it was March the 10th. Either way, it was a while ago, yeah. Well, I'm here again to show you some more of my items. Um, I think we're on a neutral um, day today because everything seems to be pretty neutral. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I'd do a, a neutral one. This one, it's kind of grey in some lights and kind of stone coloured in others. It's a lovely cardigan. Once again, it's for a fluffy lady. A lady who's a little fluffy. Long sleeves, and it's got uh, a nice wider neckline, and it's got lovely buttons on it. Yeah, it's, you know, as I say, quite for fluffy, quite a fluffy ladies. All of these are going on eBay, but if you're in another country, please do email me, because I will send anywhere in the world that I can, of course postage wise and any import duties that you may occur I, c I have no control over you know I can't be responsible for your import duties if you've got to pay them like we do in the UK this one again is kind of neutral but it's got splashes of colour with it it's a nice shorty short sleeve cardi that's the back view you know if you want to be fairly neutral but you like a splot of colour this is the one for you. I would say this is sort of like a medium ladies to a larger, well, larger ladies. But it just depends how you view larger, <laughs> whichever country you're in. <laughs> Apparently I'm a size 16 in the US, I think I'll move. <laughs> I'm a size 22 in the UK. This one is just a basic um, off the shoulder, short sleeved cardigan. It's in beautiful shades a delicate pink and a sort of a lilac-y grey colour. It's got the ribbon at the bottom. It's it's a very, I don't know whether you can see it actually on camera, it's a very delicate colour. It's um, either a cotton or a cotton mix, I can't remember. The description will be on um, eBay later. This is the same one, but this is done, it's got pinks, um, lilacs, greys, greens, creams, whatever. Again, it's the basic. Once again, it's quite a roomy top. You know. And it's got the shorter sleeves with it. So, it's a bit like the one I've just made myself. Only the one I made myself has got the long sleeves. This one is made with a different pattern, I think. I can't remember. <laughs> You know what I'm like with my brain cells, I can't remember. But it's a very similar pattern anyway. It's got the, you know, it's top down but it's got the sort of raglan design sleeves like the other one I just showed you did. Again, it's a nice pastel colour. I'm sorry you can't see the colours very well. But it is very, very pretty. This one again is, oh, excuse me, everything's knocking on the floor. A very neutral one. It's got, um... The sort of mink colour, I would call it, a minky brown colour around the edging and it's got the mink coloured buttons and it's got the all important pockets which ladies seem to love. I'm always getting asked questions like, does your sweater have pockets on or does the cardigan have pockets on? This one does, this one does. It's a, a creamy colour with sort of like a hint of a a beigey brown fleck in the yarn, if you can see it. Again, it's a very, very neutral cardi that you could pop over everything. I would say it's a lady's sort of average lady's size. But once again, I will be putting all sizes, all descriptions, when I get to putting them on eBay. Which I hope to do before the end of this week. I'm just concentrating on doing these videos at the minute, yeah. This one again is lovely it's all cotton 
it was Peyton's cotton and it was a really decent good quality cotton it's quite heavy so if it is going abroad it could bump the postage up a little bit because it's a heavy cardigan and it's done with shades of sort of like um, a gold colour and a mink colour all up the bottom if you can see I don't know whether you can see me or not <laughs> no pockets on this one sadly it's a buttoned up which are quite useful because you can wear them as a sweater if it's cold can't you it's got a little bit of decor on the sleeve just on the edging of the sleeve but the sleeve is basically just uh, plain cream yeah it's in a beautiful sort of feather and fan stitch and the colour goes all the way around the back and everywhere yeah. but this is pure cotton definitely pure cotton this one so as I say it does work up a bit heavier this one is white um, it's a sweater with the unusual bell shaped sleeves it's just a basic sweater apart from the sleeves are the accent aren't they it's just done in a, a lacy stitch it's got a square neck but the bell, the, you know, the bell shaped sleeves are what makes this garment into what it is, isn't it really? If you like to make a statement, it's got the flared sleeves. <laughs> and one item of colour, the last one. It's a turquoise blue. It's um, done side to side, I think, if I remember rightly. It's got the long sleeves. And it seamed, I think it was it seamed up the front and back, or was it just made all in one piece? I cannot remember. If it seamed, I've made a really good job of the seaming. I think it must be all in one piece. There we go. It's a V, V neck. With a long sleeve. V front, V back. It's the same back and front, so... If you spilled down it like I normally do, you could always turn it round, couldn't you? And wear it a bit longer. Oh, dear. Anyway, as I say, this one's, I would say, a lady's size, yeah. But once again, when they go on eBay, fortunately, I did take photographs of a lot of these when I still had my mannequin. Um, and I still had all the sizing and the instructions and everything. All the details are on my now expired links on Etsy because I'm no longer using Etsy as you know. So yeah I was tempted the other day to wear this actually. Then I thought no you have got enough sweaters in your wardrobe. Desist. Yeah. Desist. But this one's really nice. It's a really nice heavy substantial cardigan this one. Yeah. I will have more to show you. I'm just trying not to overwhelm you with, you know, long, long videos showing what I've got on it. Yeah, I'm just um, moving things across. What a difference a day makes yesterday. Summer dress, beautifully warm day. And now today it's quite back to wintry again. It's quite chilly. I said to my son yesterday, I don't know whether I would be putting things on eBay. Because the weather's so gorgeous, I'm going to sit in the garden and enjoy it. But, And he said to me, oh, it's going to be the same tomorrow. He lied. It isn't the same today as yesterday. He lied to me. Well, probably he didn't lie. Probably the weather that lied to him. So, yeah, as I said, these are either all cotton or a very heavy cotton mix. I did do all the descriptions, so I've got them somewhere of what yarn I used and which, you know, whether it's cotton or what it is, I did use all that, yeah. This one's a very delicate shade, if you like delicate shades. It's pink and sort of a lilac and lilac-y grey and cream. Uh-huh, this one's got the colours in it. It's grey, grey in parts, grey in parts, beige in other parts, cream in other parts, yeah. 
I think if I remember rightly this had a wee bit of wool in it. It certainly feels very woolly. But I may be wrong, you know. Some things feel woolly and they're not, they're all acrylic. They tell you feather tails, don't they? And this one is, as I say, it's a, I call it stone. So you can either see it as grey or you can see it as a stony beige colour. It would kind of go with either really because it's got the shading on it. If you can see it shades from one colour to another. Yeah, this one's quite a fluffy lady size. I made this in mind for somebody who asked me for it and then they didn't want it. So that's another reason why I don't want to do any orders because people say, oh, will you make me this or that or the other? And then when you make it, it's like, nah, no, I don't. You don't mind if I don't have it. It's not really what I had in mind. So, mm -hmm. as I said before, I'm just interested in selling the stock that I have because I need more room in my she shed. I really do. I want it to be a crafting shed, not a dumping ground. I um, did mention I was going to look out some yarn, but it won't be for another couple of weeks. At the moment, I'm just concentrating on listing the garments and putting them up and things like that. So the wool or yarn, I call everything wool. I'm a bit like Sheila, I call everything wool. Um, that will be going up probably in a, oh, I'm going sideways here. Probably in a couple of weeks or more, yeah. So, you know, don't get impatient with me. It doesn't, nothing appears um, in the, on the yarn side of things. So I'm going to go in and possibly start putting some of these things on eBay, but I will put links for, it, for you when I get round to it, when they're up and they're ready for being viewed, I'll put links down below. And when I do do the yarn, I will let you know. I'll probably do a show and tell of what yarn I'm actually going to be putting on eBay. Um, so that'll come later. So at the moment I'm not stopping in the shed because it's flipping cold. <laughs> summer? What summer? Heat wave? What heat wave? It never quite reaches here. Yeah. So I'm going to put some music on, which I'm not allowed to do when I'm doing a YouTube video, which is more the pity because I'd like a bit of music, you know. I'm very tired because last night I could not get to sleep. I finished up listening to Boyzone, Westlife and Boys to Men, I think it was. Yeah. So I was having a boys band night trying to get to sleep. Didn't work. I think I did eventually fall asleep about five o'clock. But I was up again by about seven, so. I will probably be having a little nana nap afternoon. <laughs> you know, you start to watch something on the TV and before you know it, you've gone off to the land of nod somewhere. So I've got the chunky sweater on. No pattern for this because it's just, I was just using up some oddments I had of this Mr. Super Chunky. But I had to introduce some other colours of chunky in between it because I didn't have enough. Ah, I'm back to being Leslie again on not quite enough yarn, aren't I? I didn't have enough yarn. But it's not very flattering having with wide stripes, especially if you're a bit uh, on the plumpy side, yeah. But never mind, at least I'm warm out. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to make myself a nice cup of coffee. And if it's Mother's Day, wherever you happen to be in the world, I hope you have a lovely day and you get lovely spoiled. I mean, it isn't so much about the gifts or anything like that, because we, as a family, we don't go overboard with gifts and things like that, you know. We're not one that spends mega amounts of money. It's just the thought, isn't it? The card and the, especially if they cook you a meal. I mean, I'm lucky I get my meals cooked for me by my daughter-in-law most of the time. But if you are not usually having meals made for you, if you're normally the head cook and bottle washer, you know. It's nice on Mother's Day that somebody, you know, actually uh, makes a meal for you, yeah. So I hope that you're either going out for a meal, you're being cooked a meal, if you are on your own, sadly we've all been on our own on special occasions, it's not nice but you have to think uh, about it that, you know, in days in the past maybe you weren't on your own. Um, it's very easy to get into the trap of, oh, woe is me, isn't it, if you're on your own. I spend a lot of 
of life on my own. I did really. A lot, a lot of time on my own. Even when I was with a partner, <laughs> I spent a lot of time on my own. Believe me, I'm a queen of being on my own. Um, but here, you know, I mean, yeah, I've got a family living with me, but I do spend a lot of time still on my own. I don't know how that I'm going to be able to take any photographs today because my son's in the conservatory playing a game. He's on the, you know, boys and toys are like, mm -hmm. so I won't be interrupting him while I take any photos today. But I just wanted to make another video, you know, just to keep you entertained. <laughs> if you find me entertaining. <laughs> some people do, some people don't. I think I must be an acquired taste. So, I'm going to go now, as I keep saying. This time I really am going to go. Put these things back on the rack and try to put some more things on eBay. So, bye for now. You may possibly see me tomorrow, although I don't know, because it's Knit Club Day, so you may not see me tomorrow. You might have a day off. I bet you're giving a sigh of relief there, aren't you? So, bye for now. See you very soon.